Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this organization, this chance to gather together to study what we need to do to help our country be a better and more free place. I ask you to be with our leadership and guide them, give them wisdom and understanding on how to do this. We just praise you and thank you now for this food. I ask you to strengthen and bless us with it in Jesus' name. Amen. So Saturday night and into early Sunday morning uh, was a very heavy time emotionally for many of us. And uh, Easter morning was hard for me uh, because of this news, but also because I had just read an article about a woman who was addicted to drugs and uh, living in a trailer park in extreme poverty and put her, apparently she put her baby in a dumpster because she didn't want to have to raise another child. I don't know if that's been proven that this particular woman did that. I think she's a suspect at this time. But uh, I was reading about that story and it was very disturbing to me. Um, And let's just assume for the sake of argument for this discussion that it was in fact this woman whom they suspect that did this, that put her baby in a dumpster that she did not want to raise him. And uh, the entire city of Enid is very upset about this, and rightly so. They've had motorcycle rallies and candlelight vigils and people gather by by the hundreds in the town center to say, we don't treat our children this way in Enid, Oklahoma. And uh, this is so terrible that this happened and we have to stop things like this from happening. And yet all of the arguments in favor of abortion coming from pro-abortion advocates in our capital are talking about this situation. Young women who don't feel like they have the resources to raise and take care of children. People who are addicted to drugs and living in poverty. They say these are the reasons they need to be able to have abortion available to them. So that they can legally murder their children. And you have one person go ahead and take care of it after the baby's been born. Probably because she was too poor to go pay an assassin to murder her baby. And now everyone's upset. Get real. We do this thousands of times in Oklahoma every year. We have four. We have four four of these little death camps now, twice as many as we had a year ago under the leadership of Mary Fallon and our county sheriffs and our city sheriffs who won't do anything to uphold their oath of office and enforce the Constitution. So it was hard for me uh, Sunday morning thinking about these things. Um, Earlier this week I did receive word that the resolution to ban abortion will be granted a hearing. As of right now, that is scheduled for Monday, May the 8th. Monday, May 8th. There will either be a morning session on the House floor or there will be an afternoon session that day. But whenever it is, what I hear from leadership is that that H.R. 1004, Resolution to Ban Abortion, will be heard the first thing on that Monday of the House session. This resolution says something that's never been said by a a legislative body since Roe v. Wade in this country. It says that the United States Supreme Court was wrong and acted inappropriately and illegally. It says that abortion is murder. And it says that executives everywhere should use their authority and their jurisdiction to stop abortion immediately. Now, whether or not they will do that is up to them, and it's up to us to put pressure on them to do it. But this is the legislature doing everything they can do. The legislature is tasked with writing down on paper what the law is. And this resolution clarifies that abortion violates the highest law of our land, our Constitution. And it calls on the executives to enforce it. So when they pass this thing, I'll be writing an open letter to the governor, to the uh, uh, district attorneys, to the sheriffs everywhere. And I'll be calling on them to go close the death camps. Now, we can sort out what to charge them with later, uh, but at the very least, they should close the camps in honor of their oath of office to uphold the Constitution. So I want all of you to mark May 8 on your calendar. Take off the day that day. Let's all go and be there to support these guys at the Capitol. We need to be there in force to show that this is what we want them to do. I think that this resolution will play very heavily into the governor's race next year. This will be a major rallying cry for uh, at least one of the candidates, I believe, who will run on a platform of abolishing abortion immediately as the head executive in our state. So we really want to pass this. I want you to be there. I'm going to share about this on social media this weekend, and I want you to repost it on all of your pages with all of your family members and friends, and let's rally a great contingent of support to the Capitol.